it's a little bit stringy. I do want to give you all a tip. If you have a poly gel that's like this, a little bit stringy, you can put it in the refrigerator and cool it and it will be a little bit more manageable for you. It is summer here and it's been very hot. I do have central air, but you know what? Gels know the weather conditions. Let me go ahead and chill this and I will be right back. I've had this chilling in the refrigerator for about two hours. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it's like. Oh wow, it's much better. Look at that. Yeah, it definitely is less stringy. And you can see in the other video how it was so much stringier. You can even see the, the marks where I came in and scooped that out. Do you see that? It's still there. Now watch. It has some resistance, yeah, when I take it out of there. Putting it in the refrigerator really, really helped. I mean, it's not as stringy as it was last time. Trust me, this is gonna work great. So in the next video, when I'm reviewing the Mishu 4D gel, you will see how it performs. If you have some poly gels in a pot, that are good, you know, poly gels, but they just seem just slightly more stringier than you want and it's hot out. Just put them in the refrigerator and let them chill for a couple hours or even overnight and they'll work out better for you. And if you are working with your gels and you want to keep them cool, you can always put them in, you know, like what an ice bag is. If you get a boo-boo, you put ice in that. You can fill one of those up and then set it on your desk and then put this on top of it. And those ice things, I think I've seen them at the Dollar Tree before. There's an idea for you on how to make your poly gels that are potted, how to make them a little bit more manageable in hot weather. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.